Electric Car Chronicles. Let's get into it. Hey guys, happy Friday. <laughs> Not really. Uh, whose idea was this electric cars? Who's, who's, cause, cause you know I drive one right now and I fucking hate it. I, I, I hate it. I, I don't understand why anybody would choose to do this. Like it's, it's stupid. It's almost dumber than driving to choosing to drive a stick. You know, it's just, it's just stupid. Okay. First of all, let's talk about the chargers that y'all don't have enough of around everywhere. Okay. I live where the black people are, where the coloreds are, the brown. So she about to say it's no charging stations in the hood. Uh, it may be some truth to that. Um, like I said, the one issue with electric vehicles is the infrastructure is not there yet. Still going to take some time. Um, as opposed to, you know, obviously gas powered vehicles. There's gas stations on literally every corner. Brown Americans. Um, hi, I drive an electric car. There's no chargers by where I live. No, I lied. There's one. Just one. Had to go to work today. Charger was running low. I'm like, damn, I'm going to go find a charger. Nowhere. Nowhere. Had to drive five miles to find a charger to come and plug up for a fucking hour. Because I found a fast charger. And fast chargers are the fast chargers. And they take an hour. So imagine getting a slow charger. And then it takes five hours. Or charging at home. And it takes three days. Yeah, this is, this is awesome, folks. Awesome. Gotta love electric cars. Um... Then, like, like, who wants to sit this long? I don't. I, I hate it. So not only are, is finding a charger inconvenient, but charging the car is inconvenient. Then it only charges to 80%. So it doesn't even charge to 100. Just, just 80 to protect the battery. I mean, essentially, if you're going to have an electric vehicle, especially as your primary vehicle, you need at-home charging. You need to be able to, once you <clears throat> get home, charge it up, and then ne the next morning, you should be good to go. And now, instead of it going 100 to 200 miles on a, a full battery, that cuts down because the battery only goes to 80%, so now you're less than 100 to 200 miles per charge. Who has time to do this? I guess we all have time to just stop what we're doing out of our everyday lives and find a charger and sit there because now it's 1034 and I also need to work at 9 o'clock. And all I did was take my kids. Mm, yeah, electric vehicles are definitely still not ready for prime time. I'm going to turn this into a vlog. This is day three of having an electric car. Nah, electric ain't for me, man. Electric is not for me. It's either you pay for charging to get fast charging or use these free chargers that take all day. So yeah, electric driving is not for me. All these electric cars here, I understand what they're trying to do, but uh, yeah, EV is not the way to go. Give me a gas-powered vehicle any day of the week. Look, we got a Tesla driver over here getting power. Everybody got to get power. You, you can't go nowhere without uh, electricity. So when the grid go down, we stuck. So uh, yeah, no EVs over here. Gas power. Again, like I said, if you don't have a charging station at home, you're pretty much SOL. Nothing like living on the edge, huh, Jer? Nothing like living on the edge. Let me show you guys what's happening here. It says we are at 2%. We are at 2% on our car right It says now. we'll get there. The projection, projection will get there 0.6%. He has to drive below uh, the speed limit. Don't make any sudden movements, Jer. Oh. Talk about living life on the edge, huh? No, we're at one percent. <laughs> what? Still out. Why are you crying <laughs> about this? Mm, electric car got the baby in the back, stressed out, crying, and everything. Look, I got it's right back here. up to two percent. We're almost home. We can we're just right walk. Here. We're close oh. enough to walk home. It's okay. Oh, wow. Look, it jumped back up to two percent. Because of my great driving. <laughs> Paul, look at, do you see the stress you're providing our children? I didn't put it. You're the one that's going to talk about it. Oh my God, too bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. How yeah, literally, could we push the car? No, because it'll lock up. <laughs> you have to. Let me know in the comments below. Does that affect the. Uh... Does that damage the battery if you drain it like too low? Like we 
drive your electric vehicle below like 5%, is that, could that potentially permanently uh, damage the uh, battery? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like you can put it in neutral. But... Okay. I think I've driven it to 0% before. Have you? Uh-huh, one time. You never told me. It's at 1%. <laughs> We're literally almost home. Like, awesome. Why would I do it back at 1%? We just leave our car. What do we do with our Billy, car? we are in our neighborhood. We are so close to home. Calm down. We can literally just walk home. Look, it went right back up to 2% for some reason. Because it's it made me. the nose. It knows we're like home. Billy, we're literally right here. It's giving me grace. Literally chill we're out. We're going to make them. I'm going to look. Chill we're, out. We're right here. If we Oh man, cutting it close, but here we are to our neighborhood. We made it. Everybody, nobody worry. We made it. Oh, no. You wanted not to make it, Billy? Yeah, I thought, yeah. You, I thought you wanted to make it. It was a I close thought, call, thought you, though. I but here we are. <laughs> what are we so making? 1%, but we are home. You oh. did it, babe. Good job. Thanks for driving. Hey, poor baby girl in the back, stressed out. She said she was not trying to walk today. So this man right here been waiting for a charger. Uh -huh. She just pulled up. He been waiting next to me because this charger doesn't work. Okay, so I had to wait until somebody finished for my charger. Uh, so I've been here, but I was on dead dead. So I'm not moving anytime soon. So it's going to take me. Uh, damn, can you see y'all? It's going to take me 46 minutes to charge. So I'll be here for a minute. She, I don't know who he calling to see, but she not getting out of her car. He's trying to explain to her that he was waiting on the charger. She on the phone with somebody. Now she getting out of the car. Like I said, this is another problem with electric vehicles. Whose turn it is next? You got to be aware of what time you pull up and other people who arrive before and after you. Then you're going to have people who have attitudes and potential, and potential altercations all over trying to charge your car. Then you got to wait there 30, 40 plus minutes just to charge your car up to 80 percent. Just don't make sense. Now he's trying to explain to her what's going on. Let me see if I can help. I don't be wanting to get in the business, but it go down. It go down at the charger. It, this is what I'm saying, that it's not enough charges, and people be so irritated that they have to wait. I'm going to see. Let me see. Yeah. He, he was sitting here because that one didn't work, and then the other people just left. So I got here, and he came after me like five minutes later. I don't know if that helped, but he was waiting. I was sitting right there, so... Sorry. <laughs> okay, so shout out to her for at least being a good Samaritan. She might not even have moved that uh if she didn't uh come out and uh let him know that he was there. She's gonna move. I mean now he's able to get in his car like it, it really goes down at these charging stations. Like people don't understand. I don't know how to flip my camera. But it really it, it's really, it's really, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, but she's leaving now and he's going to pull in um, so he can plug. My thing is like now she probably going to have to wait or whatever. I would leave. I'm only at 50% and I don't have no charging station that's close to me to allow her to charge. So um, I think she's going to wait. Yeah, she's going to wait because she's pulling to the side over here and he's gonna go ahead and uh plug in here but it is crazy y'all i understand they want everybody to go electric but it's not enough stations it's only two two stations here i don't know why my camera's so blurry y'all but it's only two charging stations here only one car can charge you have two plugs but only one car can charge at a time this one is unavailable again electric vehicles is just not the move yet like i said it's not enough infrastructure and then you have to deal with all this drama just to charge your vehicle. Again, like I said, if you, you, you don't have a charger at home and you have to rely on public chargers, you gotta, re, you gotta literally replan your whole day and block in 45 minutes plus just to charge your vehicle. 
fuck y'all. Another uh charge chronicles. Like people think they so fucking entitled. Y'all gotta wait like everybody else in line. That shit is crazy. That's why you really have to carry at these motherfucking charging stations because people play too fucking much. Talk about can I move my car? The fuck? <laughs> And then when you get here, it's only how many cars? One, two, three, four, five, six. One is broken, so it's only five cars can charge at one time. This is an area to where a lot of people have electric cars and people are trying to charge. People got shit to do. And I understand don't nobody want to wait and stuff like that, but it's kind of like a carpool. Like when it's your turn, it's your turn. But you can't come through this motherfucker and just think you finna be next in line and you got five and six cars waiting to charge. And then he gonna ask me, can you move uh, your car? No, I know you next in line. What the fuck I'm gonna move my car for? She sound like she put hands on somebody. And he got a whole fucking attitude. He, he tried to jump in front of another lady. She got out the car and told him like, hey, I'm next. And he was like, I was already here. She was like, no, you wasn't. So he parked right in front of her car and then the car was leaving the charge. He ain't even wanna move his car. He gonna tell me to move mine. What, fuck you. No. Like, it's getting really ridiculous, and it's not safe at all. I mean, I'm not scared because I got my bleeder, but it's, 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 you wouldn't, it's. Hold on. She said, I'm not scared because I got my bleeder. <laughs> shouldn't have to be that, it shouldn't have to be that hard. It shouldn't have to be this hard. You shouldn't have to be this hard. <laughs> so, like. This is him, and these are all the other cars that's charging. Like, one, two, three, four, five cars can charge at a time. And people are sitting here waiting. So, it's me, him, but he's before me. And then there's three other cars over there that's waiting to charge. And it's like, I don't know if I have to go all the way down there to tell them people, like, I'm after him type stuff. You got to get out the car and literally tell people that it's not their turn. So, when you have way too much <clears throat> things you got to think about and do just to try to get your your car charged up on a daily shitty thing they don't tell you about electric cars when you want to go ahead and charge it you have to wait at these public charging stations they all don't actually charge at 350 kilowatts like this car is rated this is the ionic 6 and you have to wait and these cars are going to take a long time we're just sitting here we're behind an id4 who needs to wait and now we're just waiting in here i don't know how long this is going to take to charge up the vehicle but once i get plugged in then i have to wait and i'm not going to be able to charge this vehicle at 350 kilowatt hours i can only charge it at 50 kilowatt hours because that's all these charging stations support this is annoying and this is why i don't think electric cars are ready for prime time yet the infrastructure is just not there i don't know how long i'm going to be here for but it's going to be a while i agree 100 percent. like i said the infrastructure is not ready unless you like i said have a home charger or you're retired and you just have a lot of free time on your hands and you don't mind charging up your vehicle then maybe going doing some shopping at a, a nearby shopping center it just doesn't make sense electric vehicle woes okay i'm just gonna fill you in i, I am so frustrated right now with my electric car so here's the deal i'm gonna be so real with you like We've had a Tesla, we have a Tesla, John drives that, it's his daily driver. When I've been with him before, finding Tesla charger locations and all of that, it's never been a, that big a deal. Um, honestly, he's always taking care of it a little bit more. Um, but I have an all electric car now, and I had to take the girls on this uh, dance weekend in Kansas City. So this is how this has gone down, and I my frustration level is at like a thousand. I am so over it right now so um okay so first of all yesterday i had to leave with them we left at like five o'clock i knew going into it that i only had like 84 percent to start out with on the drive right because i've been driving the car during the day and i already knew that that meant that i was gonna have to add at least an hour to my trip to to charge somewhere um so it was going to be late uh, so that said, uh, I get on the road and we're going, I'm going to try to stop in Wichita. I have my, my plan on where I'm going to stop. Um, now I will say it didn't say 
what type of charger it was, which was problematic, but there weren't that many choices along the way um, between where I needed to stop um, based on where my percentage, percentage was on my car. So I stop on the side of the highway at this place where it says there's a charger. And um, first of all, there's only a McDonald's there to eat, which everyone was starving. And oh my gosh, like just shoot me. It, I felt disgusting after I ate it. It was disgusting. It, it was not good. It wasn't even like the yumminess of the McDonald's fries. They were, they were just disgusting from the beginning, which is crazy because typically I would say I at least loved them when they went into my mouth originally and later they make you feel bad. But no, it was just all bad. Anyway, so I have to download this app to be able to use this charger, which now I have like four different apps on my phone for all these different charging locations, um, which is annoying. Um, and because mine is you know, they're not a Tesla, it's a BMW. And, um, and I love the car. It's beautiful. It's black and gold. Super pretty. That's why I bought it mistake um but anyway <laughs> so now i'm trying to plug the car in i finally get it going i'm out there in the cold and rain and like it it's just super annoying it takes forever finally get it going get back in the car and i'm looking at it and it says your car will be charged fully at 8 a.m tomorrow not gonna work okay amazing like look at all these steps and processes you have to go through um, when you're dealing with an electric car. One thing I, I do think would be a smart idea, if you do plan on buying an electric car, like if it was for me, for instance, I would just get a Tesla. Because it seems like out of, they, they have the most infrastructure as far as charging station goes. Because it sounds like different chargers charge at different speeds. So if you go to a slow, I guess a low kilowatt charger, it could take all day for you to charge, as opposed to if you go to a fast charger, it may only be 45 minutes to an hour. It's just too much involved with these uh, <clears throat> charging infrastructures, just not there yet. So now I have like barely any charge to try to find the next charging location that I could possibly get to that's hopefully a fast charger. I gotta find a fast charger. So I find one like 25 minutes away. I'm like, please God, just let us get there. So we do make it, thankfully. It is now pouring rain. It poured rain the whole drive. You know, it's dark, it's raining. I don't like driving in that anyway. But anyway, we get there and there's this other couple like sitting beside us and they're watching me like struggle to try to figure out, you know, the app, how to pay for it. Cause it's different on every one of them. It's so annoying. Um, if I need to use the adapter that I have in my car or not, like. I'm having 